Well, you're running out of time now and also some nice weather to get those summer tires yeah. changed over to winter, whether you take it to a shop or do it yourself, though there are some things you need to keep in mind before, of course, the rubber <laughs> meets the icy road. Yeah, OPP Sergeant Kerry Schmidt is at the shop this morning and he joins us now live with more. Kerry, good to see you. Let's start with the time of, of the type of tire, for example, winter versus all season tires that people might leave on their vehicle all year long. Absolutely. Do you know what? So I've got my all seasons on here right now. They're coming off. These guys were at Extreme Tire Garage in Mississauga. It's been a busy day here already. Uh, I got a couple different examples of tires that uh, this is actually what's going on my truck right now. This is a set of uh, Michelin winter tires, full winter tires. Now there's options as well for people that maybe don't want to spend uh, that kind of money and always have to do a seasonal tire change. You can also go with an all weather tire. Now this tire actually has the snowflake on it. It meets the criteria for winter driving, but what's good down below seven degrees Celsius and, and less when, it, when the temperatures are cold, the rubber gets harder on regular all season tires. So this is this might be the tire you have, you know, all through the summer, you know, a good driving tire, but it's not gonna perform the way you want in winter time. You might be slipping and sliding a little bit. These weather, all weather tires will give you a little extra traction. They meet the standards for winter driving. But again, if you want to go all out, you know, this is what's going to give you the best traction. They don't look fundamentally different, but the rubber compound is what gives you that extra traction. And it's going to help you uh, stay in control, you know, not just when there's snow and ice on the ground, but even when the temperatures are super cold and the road is cold, the rubber is cold. And this has a little extra biting capacity that will hopefully keep you in control, keep you going down the road. You still need to drive according to the conditions and, and share the road with others. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it's a busy day here at the tire shop. Yeah, we certainly heard you say that message time and time again, Sergeant. And in the meantime, you know, you're at a shop right now. Uh, it, it would seem likely taking it to a pro to do the tire changeover is likely recommended. But are there some cautionary tales if you're, you know, swapping out your own tires? What should be people be making sure of? Yeah, absolutely. So come over here. When these tires come off, one thing you really want to make sure is when you pull that wheel off, you look at the at the surface, the hub that's mount that's touching the wheel itself. Take a wire brush and make sure that's all cleaned up. This is actually a good time to check your brakes as well. But anyways, if you're doing this on the drive, make sure everything is mounted properly and uh, and that there's no rust or debris because that is often what happens if there is debris in between the the, the surfaces. Mm -hmm. Once you start driving a little time, that's when that rust and debris falls out, uh, comes loose, and now you lose the clamping pressure. And this is also the time of year when we see a spike in wheel separations. Mm. Tires come flying off their vehicles, and it's it's equally deadly as a passenger vehicle or a commercial vehicle. You've got to make sure you've got uh, those wheels properly installed. So once you put them on, you drive a short distance, go back to your tire shop, or go back, even, even check your manufacturer's instructions. If you have your tire iron, my truck needs 150 foot pounds of force, which means at the end of one foot of my lever, I need to put all my body weight, mm -hmm. <laughs> or maybe a little, maybe not, not quite all my body weight, uh, into the uh, torque wrench to, uh, to the tire iron to make sure those wheels are properly secured. Don't over tighten them. Over tightening them is also a problem, but make sure you do it in time because we have some examples of some bad tires. You know, you can see this vehicle came in on this rubber with steel belting showing completely mm -hmm. exposed on this rubber tires like this right down to the wear bars you are going to be slipping and sliding all over the place if you're uh, using uh, these kinds of tires now when we get into that winter driving uh, season and it's just around the corner so we need yeah. to be ready and these guys are working hard yeah opp sergeant carrie schmidt i mean i think a lot of people think they can get away with it for one more season they leave the tires they're bald and then they get into trouble and i know your motto you say it every year when you see snow Go slow. So thanks so much for the show and tell. Really appreciate it.